Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It is a privilege to talk to you about something that is maybe a little bit different, but very familiar. And what I'm talking about here is peace. Perspectives are sometimes necessary to be synchronized. Let me begin by telling you a little story. After a long, hard day, the sergeant and lieutenant finally came back, lay down, and were getting ready to go to sleep. When the sergeant looked up and said, Lieutenant, what do you see? Lieutenant looked up and said, I see the heavens. I see stars that no longer exist, but the light is still traveling. I see the magnificent drama of nature unfolding itself in these beautiful, beautiful lit skies. Sergeant, what do you see? And the sergeant said, sir, I see that somebody stole our tent. <laughs> so, <clears throat> it really becomes a question of what it is. For me, and this is a personal quest, that there is an importance of peace. A peace, not of consequences, but a personal peace, an individual peace for every single human being on the face of this earth. People want to stop wars. People want to stop conflicts. But nobody addresses the individual. From where the peace has to begin before one can even imagine or dream of stopping the wars and the conflicts that exist in this world. Who are we? What are we? We live on this planet Earth. It's unique. We have an incredible place in the neighborhood. We have luxuries. We really do. And we have an opportunity to do something so unique on the face of this Earth that it cannot even be imagined. We, all of us, on the face of this earth, I mean, what have we got? The most incredible planet around. That's what we've got. This is what we have got. This is what we have been given. And yet, it is so sad to see that people don't have clean water. When in this world, that's what rains down. Nature, in its infinite wisdom, says that is what you need. You need clean water. You need food. You need the sun. You need the earth. You need air to breathe. These are the things you, I, everyone need. And these are easy to see and obvious. But placed in the heart of every human being is also a want, a wish. A wish to be content. A wish to be in peace. After the food. Food is important. But so is peace. Water is important. But so is peace. Clean air is important. But so is peace. And all the things that we need to strive for those basic necessities are important, but so is peace. Because without that peace, 
You can see it again and again and again. Whatever structures are built, they crumble. The fighting decimates. It's a disease. These conflicts, they're a disease. Just like any disease, anybody who is involved with them, it kills. It kills. And you're never the same afterwards. And the only solution does not come from words, does not come from ideas, does not come from debate, but the solution comes from within the heart of every single human being. This is our humanity. This is who we are. One of the examples that I recently gave in Barcelona was like an alligator, like a fierce crocodile that on one hand has this jaw that can tear an elephant apart, the same jaw, the same teeth are used gingerly to pick up its babies and transport them to safety. The same minds that can put man on moon, the same minds that can put man on moon, can those same minds not change the condition of those poor people in this world who so desperately need those simple things in their lives?